Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So this is at the second try, or the third, or the fourth, or the fifth, I don't know, of this video. Um, for some reason my phone yesterday when I was trying to film this kept cutting out, and so we finally just had to like wipe it and start over. <laughs> so I lost all the video, so I don't have any of it. But basically what we're gonna do is use these new, this new stencil set that I have in my shop. Um, it's three fall stencils, so you get the leaves, and I'm sorry that these ones are already all marked on, but that's what I did in the video that didn't end up working out. But um, you get the leaves, you get the acorns on the branch, and a mushroom stencil. So that set is in my shop right now at craftycatusa.com, not on Etsy, it's here, okay? So what we're going to do, and I had a whole sheet of collage paper, but this is just a piece of collage with um, all old pieces, like vintage pieces of paper and some of that um, embossed paper that I do and just, you know, all kinds of different papers. So we're going to use that and we're going to use some watercolors. I'm just using my Arteza watercolors. You can use any watercolors that you have. You don't have to have these kind, but um, I will say I love these Arteza watercolors. They're great, I think. You know, I'm, I'm not a professional um, watercolorist, so like, you know, I don't know a ton about watercolors or anything, but anyway, I really like mine is all I'm gonna say about that. And then I'm just using a big fat, this is an 18, and I just got these at um, Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some kind of fall colors and I'm not doing like anything specific. It's not meant to look like anything right now or any of that. We're just putting down some color basically. So I hope you're all having a good day. I uh, was very frustrated yesterday trying to make this video because I really wanted to do it and um, just wasn't working for me as you know, we've all been there. I'm sure when you're trying to do something and technology isn't working for you, whether it be, you know, not that it has to be a video, but like just life in general, sometimes when you're trying to use technology, at least I have that problem. So, and a lot of it is just that I don't often or always know what I'm doing or how to fix things, even though it's probably something simple which usually is the case, but yesterday it was definitely not a me thing for a change. So I'm just gonna kind of put color everywhere, just however, and it doesn't matter. It's not, um, it doesn't have to look like anything specific, like I already said that, didn't I? I just want the color on this paper. And if you wanted to, you could just use uh, fall type colors of paper too. That's another thing. Like if you don't have watercolors or something, um, you probably could use like acrylics too. Just like thin them down a little bit. But yeah. Sure, there's many ways to do something like this. Hope you're all doing good. Um, we got to go watch the high school band march for the first time this season. They did excellent. It's always <laughs> a little interesting the first few times, but you know, that's all part of it. But they've done really well. They um, have had a little more time, I think, and they uh, worked really hard at band camp this year. I think it was because you know, it, they didn't get to do it last year much, and I think the kids are just excited to be able to, you know, do more. I don't know how long it's going to last, because we are having a whole lot of cases of COVID in our area. So, I'm, I don't know. I'm hoping that it gets under control, because the hospitals are overwhelmed right now. We don't have enough um, ventilators and all that jazz, so... It's a little nerve-wracking. Okay, so that's that's all I did. And then after that, 
And I'm just going to use a piece that I've already done just so we don't have to like stop the camera a bunch of times to dry that. After it was dry for this portion, then I took my card and some white gesso and I just, you know, kind of scratched it here and there all over. Um, not to cover up all the color, but just to give me some white spots in there. And so I ended up with this. I, you can see I've already torn out of it, but the video just wouldn't cooperate no matter how many times I stopped and started. But anyway, you can see the gesso is on here and it's dry. And I did try some different things and it didn't work. I tried to do some gold paint, which you can see, and some bronze. And um, it just wouldn't show up. <clears throat> Excuse me, very well. I'm going to get a good drink. And like up here, I tried a little bit of a, like a black and I didn't like that. So I figured out the best thing was the Distress Oxide by Tim Holtz. And I have Rusty Hinged, Rusty Hinge, <laughs> Aged Mahogany, and Gathered Twigs. And I liked those colors. So I think I'm going to kind of do what I did over there, over here, just so you guys can see. So get a, see if we can get a good color here. I'm going to actually start, I think I'll just come up here. Yeah, so that darn COVID, I'm telling you, the problem in our area is the people that are not vaccinated are, like a lot of people are getting it. We even have friends who have gotten it, um, but are vaccinated and they've been able to, you know, fight it. But um, the people that are not vaccinated are ending up in the hospital and um, some even dying and even young people. So it's not just old people that go around. So um, that was one of the big reasons we wanted to get our son vaccinated is because it is starting to affect the young people more. Um, so yeah, we got to go get the rest of his next Monday. But anyhow, it's it's been bad in our area. Okay, so there's a leaf. And then we'll do a bigger one here. And the regular um, vintage photo I use too, and that works pretty good. You can see that pretty good. And I know a lot of places are either still on lockdown or going back into lockdown. And I'm so sorry because we really haven't been, you know, we haven't had much problem since the first go around. And, and then we were done pretty much in May. So we were able to, I mean, wear masks and of course try to social distance and do that. But we could, we weren't in lockdown. I'll just say that. Um, but we may be back. <laughs> To that, I'm afraid, unfortunately. I'm gonna put a leaf, this kind of leaf there. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of luck with the gathered twigs. It was a little too light, I think. So I think you just got to play with what you've got, and but they are pretty fun to you know, make variegated looking and whatever. And these right here. Let's do the mahogany again. Yeah, my husband says it's really bad because he's in charge of supplies and um, she can't get anything. They can't get catheters, they can't get anything. It's just a mess. So, I don't know. We need people working again, is what we need, desperately. It's just not, it's not possible to run life with nobody working. Okay, I'm gonna put these here. I 
Yeah, because he couldn't get any catheters and was, you know, calling everywhere because they're out. And it's obviously a necessity. It's not just like, oh, well, we'll just wait till they come in. <laughs> it's not like that. So, I don't know. <sighs> it's crazy. Okay, let's see if we could get like maybe one more over here. Another one of these maybe. Come on with that. I keep switching and then I get it all over my fingers. These would be cool for a whole background too. Just leaves, you know, on a plain like coffee dye or something. All right, so there is that. And then I turned it into an art doll. So just trying to give, you know, kind of more ideas. And I'm just gonna kind of do the simple version um, like we did the other day. I'm gonna wipe my hands off a little bit here. Hold on just a second. I don't like that, uh, the feel of the ink. Well, I really don't like anything on my hands, honestly. <laughs> weird like that which is insane because of what I do for a living but some things just bug me more than others okay so we need a face and I'll show you the one I did in just a minute but we're gonna do a different one Not one of those this one And again, these are my funky art doll faces that are in my shop. And some of you already have them. And thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Could not do this without you guys, because yeah, I don't I don't make enough on YouTube, that's for sure. Okay, so I kind of want to figure out where, how I want her. The other one just like came together so bright. And I don't know if I'll be able to get another one to come together quite that well. But I definitely want some leaves. And since this is, um, what do you call it, like collaged paper, it it just tears in its own way really like it just however because it's you know it's got the different layers together i think this will work i'll tear this a little bit more and then we need um, I'm doing a, a little hoodie type hat again. Okay. <laughs> See if we can get two of these that look kind of cool. That'd be a good way to, that way I'll have one for each journal that I'm working on. That'd be good. I'm doing a video. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna do another one of those, Sean? If you let me. <laughs> oh wait. Yeah, just cause it's kind of loud. No worries. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So we need this one. Let me ground her face. Oh, we need to 
I don't need to do this yet. I need to put a little tissue over her face. I just like that. I think it gives it a good kind of a skin tone. Easy way to get a good skin tone. Let's see, where's my, I guess I can see it because my light bulb was in the way. I do that, you guys, <laughs> every time. Isn't that crazy how that your brain just automatically does certain things? <laughs> After it's done them 5,000 times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my. Trying to figure out which side is better. This side. I mean, I am going to glue it onto here, but I don't want it on there yet because I got to go around the edge, you know, with the tissue. Okay, so that's just going to have to dry for a minute because that's way sticky everywhere. So I'm glad you guys are liking these because I'm, of course, having a blast. This is the kind of stuff I love doing. So I appreciate your kindness and support and all that. You guys are awesome. Okay, and then I have one wing because I used the other wing on the other one. So we're going to put that like that. And I need something to back it with. I'm actually going to fold it kind of double just to give this wing some strength because it is going to be obviously sticking off of the fairy. So we want to give it some strength. I probably should have done this part ahead. I was just so excited that my camera's working for now. <laughs> Like, oh yay let's start because it's working <laughs> Ugh, it's so aggravating because I was like really in the in the mode you know yesterday and then <laughs> it just made me very angry <laughs> it makes me want to like throw things when it does that enough times it's like just work having a good a good crafty day work please my son and I spent all morning doing dishes from the the grill of you know that they set up at the games um because it's a fundraiser for the band so we we did dishes but they they do way more work doing the food and everything but that's what we spent the morning doing well part of it not all of it of course it doesn't take that long to do dishes but that was a good thing to get done. And what I did with the other one is I just cut like a little slit and um, slipped the wings in there. But I kind of want to figure out what else I want to do to it first. I think I'm going to use some mushrooms. Not a random head, but some mushrooms. Because it kind of has that woodland feel a little bit. And then I do want to use a little gold. I do want to do some stamping. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. The other one, I kind of went over the leaves. Just, to, you know, to make them kind of show up a little better. Because obviously on printed paper like this. Or colored paper. They um, aren't as obvious as they could be. So I'm just taking, you know... And they don't have to be perfect lines. They don't have to be directly on the other lines. They're just loose. So you can kind of see that leaf a little more. Just gives us that leaf impression a little more. And yes, 
this. I have the shaky hands. Like I've said, Procreate, if you have shaky hands and you like drawing, is a good thing to use because if you do have, get shaky, you can fix things very easily. But this, I'm not really worried because I kind of want that not perfect. I want it to be loose and sketchy. All right, so I like that. I need ink around those. And then I am gonna put a little bit of sorry silk back behind these just to kind of break it up a little bit. Maybe I want it on this side more since there's no leaf at all over there. Where did I put that? Oh come on, I just had that. Straightened everything out and I can't find anything. You know how that goes. This sorry silk is just super, like, see how it just does that? <laughs> and I just kind of like the little fiberiness of it. And then I have some coffee dyed teeth cloth. Just want a little, little bit of that there too. Back behind the mushrooms. I'm gonna use some tacky glue for that. My husband's making things on the Glowforge lately. It's kind of cool. Oh, dang, I keep forgetting the clock. You guys are probably going to kick me because I just cannot remember to grab that clock. But yeah, he's been making some things that are turning out pretty neat. Okay, I'll put our little slit for our wing, I think. Maybe I need to figure out my face first. Oh, please don't. <laughs> please don't glue down. Yeah, let me put this figured out first before I do that. I like these little hooded um, characters, they're kind of fun. And it takes a little pressure off the whole face thing, you know, like how to get the face around it and the hair and just all that. too much. Darn it. Just messed that up. Just wanted a little bit, not all of it. Is that going to be too weird? I might have to do a different face. I think I need a, a smaller one or something.
Yeah, I don't like the way that is. It happens. I kind of feel like I need a littler one, but I don't want to use the same. Try this one. That's the one good thing about these, is you can print them out again. <laughs> that one's even bigger, huh? I need a littler one. Either that or make a bigger head, but I think that's fine for the size of the body. And that's almost like too small. <laughs> oh my goodness, how did I do it last time? Sorry, I gotta clean this glue off. It's got fibers on it. Now we're going to have a lawn mowing marathon outside. Yeah, that's just too little. Okay. Where did I put the other paper? Do I want a bigger hood? I really like the size of that one. Let me try this face. Sorry about that. Okay, we can make that one work. <laughs> like, just pick one and stop. Ugh, it's like, yeah, I know. Sorry. Glue on the front of the face this time. Amy. Just such habit to go straight for the, you know, glue on the back. I won't torture you if they're waiting for that now. 
it wasn't as bad because it wasn't so glowy as the other one was. beautiful day out again it was like only in the 40s this morning and yesterday morning when I got up which is kind of crazy and I thought we were done with the heat but I guess we're going back to 92 I think tomorrow which is kind of weird after it's um, cooled down a little bit usually it doesn't go back up like that so I'm going to put a little bit of eyelash on this one just to sort of make it I mean I feel like it could be a girl or a boy so I don't feel like that matters that much okay and then we will do our watercolors my camera still going I think so it's very wow. Maybe better. And these are just my real brush pens from Arteza. Just kind of mixing some colors up just to get a little bit of a cheek. I don't want them like super colored, but enough to look lively. like a little pink at the mouth. I don't want it like super colored. Just gonna put a little blue around the outside of that black um, of the pupil. Just so there's some eye color and then we'll color in the eye and we'll put the catch-all in a little white light and we need a little bit of hair Bless you. I think you heard me. <laughs> I'll start the sneezing again in the videos. I just like to do a little around the edge, you know, like that might hang out of your hood or whatever. Out of our little fairy's hood here. And then we're just going to cut that little slit somewhere here. So it's kind of like, imagine the fairy being kind of crouched right there. So it's hard to, um, <laughs> what I am seeing in my brain might be entirely different than what you see. I'm probably going to need that in a minute. 
a little slit and then I just kind of put it in there. So that made these nice and kind of stiff, you know, so they hopefully won't get bent or messed up. This glued on. I gotta figure out how I want this. So I want this one I put. I'm gonna have to somehow get the wing behind there. I do want to tilt on it. Take just a little bit more off of here. trying to get it how you think it should go. It needs to go about like that. Because it's going to go over the wing because the wing is supposed to be behind her. some stamping on there. And we're going to put a little gold on there. some gold and then you can also come in I see her like crouched down like her arm might even be like coming in her hand right here this is kind of her backside maybe she's got like a leaf sort of a skirt on. Kind of behind, like she's behind the mushrooms, you know.
Okay, so I'll show you the other one. She's going the other direction. I put a little gold on her wings. I did put gold other places, but I didn't do her wings. So those are the girls, the fairy girls. So now I've got one for each journal because the video messed up. <laughs> and I really wanted to share these with you guys because I just think they're fun and I want you to try it. Let's see what you think. So anyways, that's them. I guess her hat ended up kind of, I don't know, it's right up with the... So this is the one today. And this is the one I did the other day. Her lips got a little crazy, but that happens sometimes. This one's a little tall, I'm hoping that, but I think inside of a pocket on a page, she'll be all right. But you can definitely write on the back. It's kind of crazy on the back, but you can still definitely write on it. I may end up like gluing it down to a paper and cutting around it just to um, give it a better backing. But that is them. And I hope that you guys like them and just another idea for your, for your faces because they are super fun to play with. And I definitely recommend trying, you know, some different stuff because they're just fun. Sorry, had to play with some hair some more. <laughs> All right, so I will see you guys again tomorrow. Love you guys. Talk later. Bye.